What's up guys, welcome to this new video. My name is Marco and today we're gonna look at how to connect together your PolyD synthesizer and your DAW in order to get the best of both worlds by synchronizing them. So you're gonna have the unpredictability and analog sound of a synthesizer and the precision of a DAW. You're only gonna need a few things, a PolyD, a DAW and a USB cable. Let's get started. So today we're going to achieve two main things. The first one is harnessing the power of the sequencer and arpeggiator and of course the sound of the PolyD and clock it with your DAW, which in this case is going to be Logic Pro X, but it's valid for any DAW. And on the other side, we're going to be able to play the PolyD with our MIDI keyboard and also play some MIDI parts from Logic using the sound of the PolyD by triggering it from Logic. It's gonna be super easy, nothing to be scared of. The first thing that you need, of course, is a USB cable and connect the PolyD to your computer. I also tried another couple of uh, different options, like a USB MIDI cable or just MIDI cable, but the best option and the most precise one is using a normal USB cable and connect the PolyD to your computer. After you've done that, you can download this software from Behringer and it's called the Scene Tool. You can find it on the Behringer website. They have the Mac version and the Windows version and it's a very light and easy to use software downloaded from their website. It's gonna look like this. So once you connect your PolyD, you click on Get Started. So the first thing we wanna do, we wanna clock the PolyD with Logic. So make sure that Logic is sending clock data to the PolyD. And to do that, you are gonna go to clock source and switch it to MIDI USB. Make sure that all of this are off for a simple reason. Otherwise, the PolyD is gonna send back to Logic some MIDI signals that we don't want. And we are technically ready to go. Now the PolyD, whatever I put inside, like a sequencer or an arpeggiator, is gonna follow the clock internal of logic. Now we also need to do something into logic. So you see this little icon here? To get that, we want to right click on the bar and customize control bar and display and click on sync. Once you enable this sync mark, you're gonna have this icon. Then you can right click on it, synchronization settings and MIDI. At this point, you're gonna find your list of devices. You can click on PolyD and then clock. I found that the best option is this one, quantize clock start based on pattern length, and then you're good to go. At this point, you have your PolyD that is following the clock of logic. In this case, it's gonna follow the 120 uh, BPM. I have a drum track here just to have a tempo reference. As you can hear, the PolyD is already playing something from the sequencer. If we want to record this sound, we just enable a new track, make an audio track, and the channel, I have it on channel mono, channel two, and now we can record the PolyD audio. It's a very low volume track, but you can hear it. So now this, of course, doesn't make any sense because it's just doing nothing, just triggering some internal uh, sequencer. The cool thing is that now I can um, enable the arpeggiator and put a chord and see what happens. It's not playing because it's waiting for logic to start. So you set the chord and then you click on arpeggiator and hold and this is what happens. So the PolyD is playing the arpeggio and you can control the chords from there and of course all the sounds. And the PolyD is perfectly synchronized with the clock. Now let's take a look at the sequencer. It's gonna be the same thing, but just instead of the arpeggiator, we're gonna use the internal sequencer. Mm -hmm. 
I recorded a few notes and press play. Now I'm going to press play in Logic and the sequencer should technically play in sync with Logic Pro. And you know with the poly D you can change chord and that's going to change the entire sequence according to your note. And you can start and stop logic. And the poly D is always ready to start uh, playing in sync and clocked perfectly with your DAW. Okay, now instead we want to try to trigger the poly D from logic with the MIDI keyboard or our MIDI recording part. And to do that, we're just going to need to add a new track, which is going to be external MIDI. And then from here, you select poly D and then channel one. Why channel one? Because if you go back to the scene tool, you're going to see that MIDI in channel is one. You can change it. We're going to keep it one for now and create a new track. Now this track here is basically a MIDI track that is triggering the poly D. And if we want to record the audio of what we're doing, we can record on this track that is getting the input, in this case, out of the poly D into the sound card. So let's try. As you can see, it's very easy and there is not much to do. You're just changing internal clock or USB MIDI clock from the scene tool application. And that's it for today. I hope you found this video useful and that you can create cool things with this technique. Please share your comment below if you want to see something else on some variation of different techniques. And please consider subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'm reviewing every week some software plugins or physical gears, always in the music and always creative things. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.